Uh, JC, so we're starting February with a home game against Hartbury on Saturday. Um, first, let's just have a quick look back at January. Three wins from three. Um, I guess it couldn't have gone much better, really. Yeah, we're very happy with uh, how the start of 2020 has gone. Obviously, it was disappointing to lose our last game of 2019 yeah. against Newcastle, but I feel like the squad and the team have, have bounced back positively and, you know, we're looking to kick on for the rest of the year now. Yeah, really good in kind of attack and set piece. I guess the biggest work on is still that defence, which is probably a little bit leakier than we'd like at the moment. Yeah, we have conceded a few tries over the last few weeks. Um, you know, we've scored plenty of points in the games, but it's disappointing still to concede yeah. four points or oh, four tries and allow teams to take a bonus point or something away with them. So that's something that we're looking to improve over the next few matches. Yeah, last weekend at Scottish, did that kind of sum all that up? A fabulous second half performance to kind of really pull away, but then just those kind of like late tries just uh, kind of allowed them, what well, I wouldn't say back into the game, but just gave them a bit of a bit of glory anyway. Yeah, I think so. I think so. It's, it's more of a, a mentality thing. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you, you often find that the best teams in leagues, you won't get any points from them. Um, and you know that's something we're aspiring to be um, so that's what we need to try and achieve yeah um, Hartbury this weekend um, had a great win, win against uh, Coventry last week what are we uh, expecting from them it'll be a tough battle it'll be a tough battle um, obviously first and foremost we're, we're delighted to be back playing at home um, we've seen that the, the weather might be pretty ble pretty windy and maybe a little bit wet on the weekend which could make things a little bit harder for us but I'm sure Hartbury will come up here, especially after having, you know, as we've just said, having seen Scottish and Amptill score a few tries against yeah. us, they'll probably fancy their chances as well, and it's up to us to shut that down. Yeah, you mentioned kind of up to us. Is it that kind of classic case of just making sure our performance is where it needs to be and taking care of, care of all those details? It is, yeah. You know, we've had plenty of time in training this week to practice our moves, practice our systems, and shore up our defence. Uh, I would certainly say that uh, our defensive efforts in training this week have been have been pretty good and pretty spot on. Um, so that's something that we're looking to tighten up ourselves and hopefully we can also put our attack to good work and put some points on the board. Yeah, a few Friday night games recently um, which have kind of led to shorter turnarounds with, from, in terms of the Saturday to the Friday but obviously a bit of a longer one this, this time with that weekend off. Does that kind of make a bit of a difference in terms of preparation? Um, well, it's always nice uh, kind of like if you have a Friday game the week yeah. before you'll, you'll have a couple of days off then for the weekend which is nice from a recovery point of view and you know it's nice to get, get away from rugby for that extra day uh, makes you feel a little, little bit more fresh um, but in terms of prepping for the week uh, you know a full week's training is is ideal really it gives you a day to work on your attack a day to work on your defense and then plenty of time to put the two together so hopefully we'll see that at the weekend yeah for you your third start in a row uh, how much are you enjoying being out there at the moment uh, it's great it is great um, you yeah, know I've had a bit of a, a, a mixed bag in, at the start of the year but it's fantastic to, to get, a, get a shot now and hopefully get a, a string of games together. Yeah, line-outs, obviously, you're kind of bread and butter. Is that, is that calling the responsibility you really kind of enjoy? Yep, uh, it's, it's something that I've done for, for quite a while now. Um, and, you know, it's, it's not just a one-man job. There's, there's kind of a team effort with Glenn, the Ford's coach, uh, and then the other second rows and, and Rain as well. It, it is a collaborative kind of effort. Um, and you know we all put plenty of work into it and it's great when it goes well yeah. uh, and hopefully it doesn't go badly. <laughs> yeah. um, finally, huge games this month, kind of looking forward to February, um, likes of trips to Jersey and Coventry, Cup quarter final. Um, can this really kind of set us up for the, for the rest of the season starting on Saturday? I think so, yeah. And that's certainly been kind of, that's been what we've been looking for for, as we said, after that Newcastle yeah. game. It's like, right, new year, new start and let's set our stall out and let's finish this you just finish the season as strongly as possible um and certainly i've, I've never played over in jersey yeah. before um i've heard it's a very difficult place to go um so looking forward to that one but first and foremost it starts with playing heartbreak here on saturday